What's up, yogis? Welcome back to your seven-day yoga challenge. We are on day four. You guys are more than halfway through. You should be proud of yourselves. Today, we'll be doing one of my signature power vinyasa flows. This is going to be challenging yet accessible, and it's going to hit all of your yoga and workout needs for the day. Before we begin, my friends, make sure to subscribe, give this video a thumbs up, and if you haven't invited a friend to join you on this journey yet, go ahead and do that now. It's never too late. So let's begin. I'll meet you on your mat. All right, yogis, let's dive in. Today, we're going to start in any shape that you'd like. So pick one and land there. It can be on your back, a child's pose, a seated meditation, whatever feels best. I'm going to start in a Baddha Konasana with the soles of my feet to touch and knees wide. Wherever you land, just commit fully to that posture. It's likely that whatever you chose is what your body needs most in this moment. So just allow yourself to sink in and absorb. Find a few moments here in stillness. Just begin to notice and examine how you're feeling. As you do that, maybe you'll notice that your mind is still recycling thoughts and things to do from your day or from the day ahead. It's perfectly fine. Don't force anything, but just try to bring your attention into your body, into your breath, and into this moment and every moment that follows. We'll take a full breath in together. Fill up all the way from wherever you are. Fill up, fill up. Open mouth, let it all go. Sink a little deeper. One more, just like that. Full breath in to expand at the top of that breath. Sip in a little bit more air. And let it all go. Start to breathe in and out of your nose from here. And then just start to move. Okay, so just taking some little movements really anything that feels intuitive for you. Maybe you just keep those eyes closed. Just begin to listen to your body. Listen to what your body needs, what your body is craving. And maybe your shapes just get a little bit bigger, a little bit more dynamic. Or maybe you just stay in that stillness. Just start to breathe and move with this curiosity. And treat it as an experiment, an exploration of self. Maybe you find some cat cows. Maybe you find some deeper breaths in a child's pose or a seated meditation or a thread the needle. My friends, just explore. Just for about five more rounds of breath. Don't worry, there's no way that you can get this wrong. No way whatsoever. If you're breathing, it's right. Go ahead and finish up here, and then we will all meet in a downward facing dog in the next couple of breaths. Our feet hips width distance apart, our palms rooted into our mat, and then you can take a nice deep bend in your knees if that feels better for this first one on your hamstrings, creating that inverted V shape that supports you here. Be sturdy, 
Full breath in. Full breath out. Next inhale, look at your fingertips, and on your exhale, slowly travel to the top of your mat. You're going to hang over your legs for a ragdoll sway, your body left to right. Any kinks and creases and tension in your neck, shoulders, or lower back, let it drip all the way off. Slowly release your left hand down, bend into your left knee. With your inhale, reach that right arm high, find a little twist, maybe straighten the right leg. And then exhale, release it down. Let's take it to the other side, right knee bends, inhale, left arm high. Exhale, release it down. Next inhale, a slow roll all the way up to standing. Your shoulders will stack over your hips as you pull them up to your ears and then drop them down your back. Step your feet together, palms by your sides. Samasti Kahi. Starting off our practice in equanimity, a blank slate. No expectations, no judgments, just you and your mat and your practice. On your inhale, sweep those arms high. On your exhale, take a little back bend, just cactus open through your chest, peel open your heart. Inhale, reach back up. Exhale, forward fold all the way into your hamstrings. Grab the back of your calves and pull your forehead towards your shins. Your inhale will lift your chest up, finding a halfway lift. Your exhale will plant your palms, step back to a high plank, full breath in. Your exhale, you'll lower halfway into your elbows, squeeze them into your ribs, pause. Up dog with your breath in, shine your heart, flip your toes. Down dog with your breath out, roll up and over, hips back. Surya Namaskar A, our spinal warm up, nice and traditional. Let's move through it, breath to movement. Inhale, gaze at your fingertips. On your exhale, travel to the top of your space. Halfway lift and fold. Inhale, root to rise to Dasana, reach up. Exhale, find a little back bend. Inhale, reach back up. Exhale, fold forward. With your inhale, halfway lift. With your exhale, high plank, pause. Halfway down, upward facing dog, downward facing dog. Take a couple of breaths here. We'll go one more time. Inhale, look at your fingertips. Exhale, top of your mat. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, fold. Inhale, root to rise, reach up. Exhale, find that back bend a little bit bigger this time. Inhale, reach back up. Exhale, fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, high to low plank. Take that chaturanga. Remember, these are always optional. You can leave them out. You can add on to them, whatever suits you. Downward facing dog. Next inhale, look at your fingertips. Exhale, travel to the top of your mat. Find a halfway lift and fold, inhale, chair pose, sit low, reach those fingertips high. And then on your exhale, press your palms to your heart, sit two inches lower. Breathe here. Our Surya Namaskar A warmed up our spine. Now we're moving into that sun salutation B, warming up the lower body, sit two inches lower. One more inhale. Exhale, lower the bum down. Inhale, lift the heels, boat pose. Maybe you straighten them. Take a breath in. Take a breath out. Cross the ankles, plant your palms, step or hop back. Find a vinyasa. Upward facing dog. Downward facing dog. You'll step your right foot in between your hands. Slide your left heel down. On your inhale, warrior one. Rise all the way up and reach up. Lift your gaze, full breath in, exhale, plant the palms, step back, take your vinyasa, downward facing dog. Right away, the left foot steps through, a swift ujjayi inhale, reaches your fingertips high, or your one. Exhale, plant the palms, step back and take your vinyasa. Nice traditional sun salutation B. Downward facing dog. Take a couple rounds of breath, then we'll move through it breath to movement. Remember, if my pace isn't yours, then change it. This is your practice. Hi, Cosmo. <laughs> On your next inhale, look at your fingertips. 
On your exhale, travel to the top of your space. Breathe in, lift halfway. Breathe out to fold. Inhale, Utkatasana, sit low, reach high. Exhale, hands to your heart, sit lower. One breath in. Exhale, sit all the way down onto your bum. Inhale, lift those heels for a boat pose. Exhale here. One more breath in. Exhale, cross your ankles, plant your palms, step or hop back, take a vinyasa. Up dog. Downward facing dog, right away, right foot steps through. Inhale, rise up, warrior one, like the fierce warrior you are. Exhale, plant the palms, step back, take your vinyasa. With the exhale, down dog, left foot steps through. Inhale, rise up, warrior one. Exhale, plant the palms, step back and flow. Inhale up, exhale, downward facing dog. Big breath in, big breath out. Next inhale, look at your fingertips. Exhale, travel to the top of your space. Breathe in, lift halfway. Breathe out to fold. Inhale, Utkatasana, third one, sit low, reach high. This time on your exhale, loop your left arm underneath the right, find eagle arms, and then sit all the way down onto your bum. Keep those eagle arms as you lie down. Bring the left knee over the right, finding eagle legs. Tap the fingers and the toes, and then crunch. Tap, crunch, just like that. Tap, crunch, just three more. One, two, three. Inhale, stretch. Send those arms long, point the toes. From here, we're gonna take it to the other side. Right leg and right arm. Tap toes and fingers. Crunch, there we go. Crunch. Just a few more. Really turn on that heat for three, for two, and one. Knees in, rock and roll. Take your vinyasa high to low. Downward facing dog. Beautiful work, my friends. Let's move on from here. On your inhale, stretch your right heel high. Find a down dog split. And then with your exhale, bring your right knee to your right tricep. Give it a little tap. Maybe you take a push up here, lowering down and up. And then send that right leg high. On your exhale, step the right foot in between your hands. Coming into a low lunge. Breathe in on Janayasana, crescent lunge. Rise up and reach up here. Pause. Feel your core engage, the inner thighs sucking in, activating your bandhas, those energy locks, keeping the heat inside. Breathe in. Exhale, find a double lunge. Left knee comes about two inches off of the ground and then push your palms forward. Moving around some energy here. Inhale, reach up, straighten. Exhale, sink low, push. Last one, inhale. Exhale, sink low, push. This next inhale, send your weight into that right foot. Lift the left knee, one-legged Tadasana. Get rooted, find strength. You'll take your right hand to the outside of that left knee, find a nice easy twist or grab the outside of the left foot and find a dancing Shiva. Full breath in. On your exhale, bring that left ankle over the right knee and sit into a figure four. Get low, press those palms together. Take your time, breathe. Inhale to lift back up, reach the left knee up, reach the fingertips. And then exhale, slowly step those left toes back as you lean forward and reach back, coming into a leaning crescent. Triceps are engaged and fired up here. Breathe, sit lower. Your inhale slides the left heel down, straightens your right leg. Grab that right wrist and pull it up and out for a sky archer gaze up. Breathe in. Exhale, cartwheel your arms down to frame your right foot. Step back, maybe find an Ekapada Chaturanga, a chin stand, or just a regular flow back to down dog. Let's take that same pattern on the other side. Inhale the left heel high. Exhale, left knee, left tricep, optional push up. <laughs> Inhale, reach it back up. Exhale, step through. 
Stay high on the back toes. Inhale, Anjane Asana, crescent lunge. Exhale, double lunge, push. Inhale, exhale, push. One more, inhale, exhale, push. Next inhale, st stand on that left leg, reach the right knee high, pause. Find that open twist to the right, or grab the outside of your right foot and send it forward. Hopefully there's not a plant in the way like there is for me. <laughs> Breathe in, exhale, find that figure four, cross it over, get low. Hey, we make do, right? <laughs> Breathe here into the outside of that right hip. Your inhale lifts your fingertips and that right knee. And your exhale is a steady and slow step back to your leaning lightning bolt crescent, whatever you want to call it. One long line of energy from the heel to the crown of your head. Inhale, open all the way up to the right. Grab that left wrist and pull. Exhale, cartwheel the arms down. Make your way back to down dog, however it feels best. <sighs> Nice, guys. We're gonna add on to that series. Breath to movement, here we go. Inhale, right heel high. Exhale, right knee, right tricep, maybe a push up. Inhale, up. Exhale, step through. Crescent lunge with your breath in. Exhale, double lunge, push. Two more, in, out, in, out. Inhale, one-legged Tadasana, lift the left knee. Exhale, open twist or dancing Shiva to the left. Breathe in, breathe out, cross it over. Get low into that figure four. It's okay to wiggle, you're only human. Step the left leg back, leaning crescent. Inhale, grab that right wrist, pull it all the way up and out. Here's what we're adding on. On the exhale, bend back into that right knee. Turn the right toes forward, come into a skandasana. Press your palms together, breathe into the inner left thigh. You'll release your hands down, start to walk towards that left leg, bending into the left knee. Back of our mat, we'll find a dragonfly twist with the left arm high. Continue to engage the core here so you're not dumping your weight into your right wrist. Breathe in. Breathe out, wrap that left arm behind your back and slowly guide the right knee down. With your inhale, you'll reach your right fingertips high. Find an exalted crescent. Keep sending the hips forward. Let this feel good. One more breath in. Exhale, the right hand will meet the left behind your back. On your inhale, you'll lift that back knee, slide the back heel down, pull open through your chest and then find a humble warrior bow. From here, you'll release your right hand down to the inside of the left foot. Scoop the left foot back to meet the right. Find a side plank or a wild thing by stepping the left toes behind you and opening up through the chest. And then exhale, plant your left palm, high plank. Find your vinyasa, upward facing dog. <laughs> downward facing dog. That's our whole flow today, my friends. Let's take it on the other side. Breath to movement. Here we go. Inhale, left heel high at the back of your mat. Exhale, pull it to tap, maybe a push up. Inhale, up. Exhale, step through. You know this first part. Inhale, rise up for crescent. Exhale are those three dips. Push the energy. Every time you exhale, let go of something. <sighs> Inhale, find that one-legged Tadasana. Right knee high, exhale, find the open arm twist or the dancing Shiva. There's another plant in my way on this side. Then we'll find that figure four. Sit low, press into the hip. Unravel, stepping the right toes back, leaning crescent, pause here. Inhale is that sky archer. Grab the left wrist, pull it out. Here's where we add it on. Exhale, naturally bending into that left knee. Turn the toes in, get low for Skandasana. Press those palms. Release your hands down. Walk towards your right leg. Bend in, find that easy twist. Reaching up through the right arm. Big breath in. Exhale, loop it behind your back. Lower the left knee. 
Inhale, use your strength to lift the left fingertips. Find a little back bend. Exhale, left hand meets the right. Pull open on your inhale, slide that left heel down, crack open through your chest. Exhale, humble warrior. Bow deep. Last posture here, left hand down, right foot meets the left, open up to side plank or wild thing, cracking open the heart, high plank, take your vinyasa. All right, friends, here we go. Breath to movement through the whole thing. Don't feel like you have to keep up with me, just move with your breath. Inhale, right heel high. Exhale, right tricep, maybe a push-up. Inhale, up. Exhale, step through. Inhale, crescent lunge. Exhale, double lunge, push. Two more, in. Let it go. In. Let it go. You'll step into that right foot, lift the left knee with the breath in. Exhale, open up, dancing Shiva or twist. Breathe in for length, breathe out, cross it over and sit low, compress. On your inhale, you'll unravel, step back and reach with your exhale, sit lower into that leaning crescent. Inhale, sky archer, grab the right wrist, pull. Exhale, skandasana, back into that right knee, get low. Walk towards the back of your mat, inhale, dragonfly twist, left arm up. Exhale, loop it behind your back, lower the right knee. Inhale, exalted modified crescent, right arm reaches. Exhale, bind the hands. Inhale, lift the back knee, pull open through the chest. Exhale, humble warrior, bow in humility. Right hand down, inhale, side plank or wild thing, open. Exhale, vinyasa. Inhale, left heel reaches high, you've got it. Exhale, tap the left tricep, maybe a push up. Inhale, stretch. Exhale, step through. Crescent lunge. Exhale, double lunge, two more, in. Out. In. Out. Inhale into that balance. Exhale, find the twist. Inhale for length. Exhale, cross it over, get low, figure four. Inhale to unravel. Exhale to step back, lean forward. Inhale, sky archer, grab the left wrist. Exhale, sink into the left knee. Journey back towards your right foot. Inhale, dragonfly twist, right arm high. Exhale, wrap it behind your back, lower the left knee. Inhale, reach. Exhale, find that humble warrior. Slowly set the left hand down. Inhale, open up to side plank or wild thing. Exhale, high to low. Up dog, downward facing dog, two breaths. You guys wanna go at it again? I think so. Inhale, right heel high. Exhale, tap the right tricep. Let's turn it up a little bit. Reach and step through. Crescent, double lunge push. Two more, in. Out, muscle memory kicks in right here. Out, inhale, stand. Those balancing postures are next. Exhale, find that twist. Breathe in for length. Breathe out, figure four. Step back, reach. Inhale, sky archer. Exhale, skandasana, right knee. Travel to your left foot. Right hand down, inhale, left arm high. Exhale, wrap it and lower the right knee. Inhale, reach with your right hand. Exhale, bind. Inhale, lift the chest. Exhale, humble warrior. Right hand down, inhale, open up side plank or flip it. Exhale, vinyasa, one last side. Make it your favorite. You should be sweating a little bit at this point. Inhale, left heel. Exhale, optional push up. Inhale up. Exhale, step through. Crescent, double lunge. Crescent, double lunge. Crescent, double lunge. Lift the right knee. Find that twist to the right. 
figure four. Step back and reach. Inhale, pull the left wrist. Exhale, Skandasana. Travel to your right foot. Inhale, right arm high. Exhale, bind it, lower the left knee. Inhale, left arm high. Exhale, bind both hands, lift the back knee, and fold, humble warrior. Last posture, scoop it up and back. Side plank or wild thing, and high plank is where we'll meet. Oh yeah, come onto your forearms from there. You've got it. Breathe, you can. Slowly start to walk your toes towards your elbows, lifting your hips high. Breathe into dolphin or lift one leg. Play with hopping off the other or lift the other leg, hop off, whatever suits you. Maybe you come all the way up in that forearm stand and breathe there. You've got it. One more inhale. Exhale, release both feet down, knees down. Sit back on your heels, embryo pose, forehead rests. Whoo, good work. Lots of movement. And just notice. On your next inhale, slowly roll your body up, stacking your shoulders over your hips. Pause for a moment. Downward facing dog is where we'll meet. Full breath in. Full breath out. Next inhale, look at your fingertips. On your exhale, travel to the top of your mat. Feet, hips with distance here. Breathe in to lift halfway. And then breathe out to slide your palms underneath your feet. Toes tickle your wrists. Finding a padakastasana here. Pull yourself towards yourself. Chin to chest. Gaze at your belly button. Try and straighten those legs as much as you can. Feel the hamstrings light up. One more inhale, one more exhale, release. From here, we'll slowly roll up to that samastitihi, the way we started our practice today, back in equanimity. Notice what's come up for you. From here, we're going to send our weight into that right foot. Just start to send the left leg back, coming into a warrior three with airplane arms, reaching back. Find a little bend in that right knee, and then find stillness. Breathe here. Coming into the part of our practice where we slow down, we push up against a, a different type of edge, a stillness edge. Breath is king here, breathe. One more inhale. Exhale, standing split, release the hands down, straighten that right leg. I know it's a lot. From here guys, go ahead and grab that right ankle with your right hand and then maybe the left hand as well. Finding a nice balance, you've got it. And remember, when you fall out, it's all good. Just get back in, we're only human. Two more breaths. One more inhale, exhale, bring that left shin all the way down to the ground, to the inside of your right foot, and then walk your hands back. Find a little opening in your chest here. You can even lift your hips if that feels good. Big breath in, exhale, release. Walk your hands back forward in front of your left knee and step that left foot to meet the right and then stretch the right heel high from here. Finding that standing split, grab the left ankle with the left hand. Maybe you even grab the left ankle with the right hand. 
hopefully you're not on carpet like me. <laughs> Wherever you are, just try and find stillness. You've got this. Breathe. a little bit longer. Cultivate that strength and resilience. That mental fortitude. On your inhale, start to lift your chest. Come into that warrior three. Oof, that's hard. Reach back. You've got this, guys. We're almost there. Not much longer. Prove it to yourself. You are stronger than you think you are. You've been through way worse. Three more breaths. Samasti to he. Shake out those legs. And then find stillness. Close your eyes. On your next inhale, stretch your fingertips high. Exhale, fold. Inhale, lift halfway. On your exhale, set that right shin down. Lean your weight back. Open up through your chest. Maybe lift those hips. And then gently lower, walk your hands forward, step back to a downward facing dog. In through the nose, out through the nose. Inhale, right heel high, exhale, half pigeon, creating that number seven in the legs. Lift your chest for a breath in. Exhale, fold. All of that work warmed us up to be right here. Let your breath carry you. Just a few more rounds. On your inhale, slowly lift your chest. And then look back towards your left foot. Start to bend into that left knee. Maybe you reach back and make a connection there. Or maybe you start to pull the left heel in towards your left glute. Or you hook the elbow. If you can hook that elbow, start to reach up with your right hand. Maybe you connect your fingertips. Notice if you start to roll over and you lose all the stretch in your hips. It's not really the point. So try and come back and find a back bend. Breathe here. One more inhale. Exhale, softly release from wherever you were. Even if it was just a direction and not a destination, it's all good. Plant those palms, tuck the left toes under, sweep that right leg up, shake it out, and then move into your half pigeon on the left side, lift the left leg, and then find that number seven. Breathe in, lift your heart, breathe out, fold. Couple more breaths here, my friends. On your inhale, slowly lift your chest. You'll bend into that right knee, reach back. Maybe you make the connection and then maybe you pull it in. One side may feel different than the other. Just respect your body.
gently release it. Plant those palms. Scoop that left leg up and back. Downward facing dog. Slowly peel yourself forward and come all the way onto your belly from here. As soon as you land, you'll bring both palms under your forehead. Rest your forehead on your palms like a pillow. Feel your heart beating into your mat. Soften your edges. We're finding one big back bend here, my friends. Bend into your knees, heels towards your glutes, and then reach back for the outside of those ankles. Let go of all of your air. <sighs> Inhale, kick open. Maybe you rock forward and back, waking up the digestive system. A little bit higher. One more inhale. Exhale, release to a child's pose. Sink it back. Forehead down. Fill up with air. And let go. From here, you will slowly come up into a tabletop. Walk your feet and legs forward. Scoop them out in front of you. Take a breath in to reach. And on your exhale, slowly make your way to your back. <sighs> Once you get there, bring those knees into your chest. Find a little sway left to right. You'll send your left leg long, your right knee to the outside of your right rib, squeeze it, and then draw it across your body, finding a deep twist, gaze towards the right. Notice if your breath is still at the forefront of your attention. If not, just bring it back. Come through center, swap out sides, left knee in, full inhale, exhale, twist. With your inhale, come back through center. Bring your knees into your chest. If there's any last postures your body is craving, please take them. And then when you're ready, final resting pose is Shavasana. Send your legs long, let your palms rest by your sides. And then let everything surrender. Without moving, just begin to deepen your breathing. Begin to wake up your body from the inside out. And then maybe start to wiggle your fingers and toes, your head and neck. 
We'll close out our practice by making our way to a seat. It's been an honor guiding you through your practice today. From my heart to yours. Namaste. Thank you guys so much for joining me today for day four of our seven day yoga challenge. Don't forget to tag me on Instagram at Kirsty Page in your stories so I can follow along. I'll see you tomorrow for day five. Peace.